your boy Mozzie back with another video man another banger for you guys as always man uh so today uh they had the dub uh the dub show dub car show concert today and all that stuff that uh, they had today downtown at the convention center but uh we did not go however however it's supposed to still be a bunch of cars just pulling up like a little smaller mini car show that's supposed to be pulling up after and so of course we're gonna go ahead and get that footage for you so y'all already know, man, we had to we had to get in the loop. It's something. We couldn't just not be in the loop at all with the dub show calling. You know, the dub show. It's it just like that, that wouldn't that wouldn't be us, bro. That like that like Michael Jordan, you know, like just not hooping no more. You feel me? Like we gotta be in tune with that, bro. So we finna go ahead and go out there and give some good footage for y'all. But first and foremost, man, before we even continue, man, I appreciate each and every last one of y'all that's been rocking with your boy. I always say that, man. I always try to let y'all know that because I really do appreciate y'all. Before we continue, I need you to watch this part. I need you to just hear me out for a minute. I need you to watch this. Do not skip this part. Oh yeah. Watch this part, bro. I need to talk to y'all for just a second until we get to this destination. So, um, a lot of people assume that everybody that's doing YouTube or everybody, everybody that's like in the public eye, you know, got it all made and everybody's rich and everybody lives a good life. No, that's not the case whatsoever. Everything you see is the outcome of all the grinding all the hard work all the leaps of faith all the question of how is this going to get done everything that you're not supposed to see you know as you being our subscribers our whole point well which mine is anyway is to give you something to smile about give you something to be encouraged about to be motivated about give you something to laugh at to pretty much brighten your day to pick up your day to make you feel like everything is all right you know what i'm saying so you're not supposed to see the hard part the grinding part you're not supposed to see those things but that don't mean i keep those things from you guys because at the end of the day as y'all already know my whole point of me even doing youtube is to push and inspire each and every last one of y'all man to chase your dream but i would not be doing that if i was sitting here lying to you making you seem you know giving you this image that it's easy that it comes easy that once you get to a certain point in your life that all the problems stop you know when you start making millions of dollars you know everything stops all the problems go away and just because you chase your dream that means nothing goes wrong no that is not the case that is not true the more money you make the more problems you have it's just you just leveled up in problems now you can just afford bigger problems that's the only difference money is not going it's not going to take the problems away you can just afford bigger problems now. You know, it's just like, prime example, when you was broke and you didn't have no money or you, you know, was living with your parents, you know, when you was younger, you had to ask your parents to go on a date. So you know you can go on a date unless you got some money from your parents. When you get a job, only, the only difference is now you can afford the dates on your own. So it's just the same way. So everything don't go just smooth just because, you know, we YouTubers or whatever the case is. Everything is not easy that we do. You know, because you constantly have to stay in the loop. You constantly have to be on the move. You constantly grinding. Half the time you're not sleeping. Half the time you're probably missing meals because you're on the grind. You don't even be thinking about eating. You know, you go a day later, you just realize, dang, I didn't even eat today. You know, I didn't eat at all yesterday. So, understand when you see people doing YouTube, that people are really in tune with their craft. The people that are good at YouTube, the people that do have thousands of subscribers, million subscribers understand it's a lot of grinding and a lot of hard work that goes into that it's not like oh they just go out here and record a video editing and button and it's not that at all you know and so if it does look that easy just me from speaking from the subscriber account that i have if it does look that easy i apologize for anybody that's ever made it seem like it is that easy because it's not you know it's not easy at all because anybody can pick up a camera and go and record something, that don't mean it's gonna be good content. That don't mean it's gonna be something that somebody wanna watch. And so that goes for anything that you are doing in your life. Don't let anybody make it seem like your dream is just so easy that it's not worth it. You know, 
don't let nobody take that from you. Don't let nobody make it seem like your hard work is not gonna pay off. Don't let nobody do that. Don't let nobody ever do that. You know, so the whole point of me doing YouTube is to motivate people, to give people inspiration and motivation to understand that their dreams are possible. And the people that's watching right now, your dreams are possible, your dreams are more than possible. You know, all you gotta do is stick to the grind and it don't, it don't matter how long it takes. If you're serious about your dream, you're gonna make it happen even if it takes a month, two months, six months, a year, three years, you're gonna make it happen. Some people can't drive, bro, he one of them. But <laughs> respect the grind, respect the hustle. And I promise, bro, you will be out. I'm not finna say it's gonna be easy. I'm not finna say that, oh, it's gonna, you know, all the problems gonna go away because it's not. It's not. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be a tough, a tough ride, but it's gonna be a worth it ride when you see it, the outcome of everything that you done put in, the grind, the sweat, and the tears that you done put in. It's gonna be so worth it. Whatever dream you got, stick to the game plan no matter how long it takes, no matter what it takes, stick to the game plan. That is the main thing, that's the main focus. Even when your back is against the wall, that's when it's gonna count the most to see how much, how, how much you really about what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? That's why I relate to people that come from nothing. That's why I relate to people that, that started their business out the mud. That's why I relate to people that's really been grinding years and years for their dream just to happen. Because I know what it takes, I know what it feels like to be going through life. You know, your dreams ain't working off the bat how, you know, you see it in your mind and you, you can picture it and imagine it. And you know that it's gonna happen, but you have to still go through the, you know, you gotta you have to take that time to that waiting process. That's like, you know, when they said good movie, you've been waiting to come out for the longest. You know what I'm saying? And it's oh well, it ain't gonna come out till two years from now. Just like dang, bro, I gotta wait. But trust me, it is coming soon. You know what I'm saying? So whatever dream you feel like you have, you want or you got, it's definitely worth it, bro. And don't let nobody tell you that it's not worth it or that it's not gonna happen. But I'm about to pull up on my bros, man. We finna get ready to head to this car meet, and we are gonna see what some content looking like. And my dog got on a pink hat. My, my brother B got on a pink hat. My other brother got on some highlighted shoes. My daughter got those shoes. So it's just like, oh, we big, man. But I'm finna get out and let y'all see what everybody looking like, man. Brother, my brother Turbo with me, man. Yeah. We got some, we got some. I'm my brother Kelly right here, bro. Yeah, man. Yeah. What's up, baby? What's up, baby? <laughs> What's happening? What's happening? What nigga got Bro, who? Hey, bro, why you always late? Bro, bro, don't, bro, don't come me like that, bro. I've been to church, bro. Don't come me huh? like that. I've been to church. That's a cute hat, bro. You like that? That's cute. God first, man. Close the line. It's, it's coming back. Right, it's pretty. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Like What's going on? That second pair of kicks like that, I like, bro. I appreciate you, bro. I like them, too, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But I got my brother even like with me as always. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. See, I make sure I go subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to my other brother's channel, man. So. Let me, hey, let me ask you. Ask me a question? Yeah. Go ahead. Why well, I'm not recording, bro. Brother, you know, I, I, ask, I ask myself the question every time I see you, bro. I don't understand. <laughs> oh, no, it's too hot, first of all. It is hot. Bro, we've been out here for a minute, bro. It's hot. I think it's a little pretty hat you got on, bro. Thank you, bro. Yes, Thank you. Get the kicks, yeah. the kicks yeah. ready, too. I got pink in the kicks. Yeah. Yes, sir. That, yes, sir. That's the type of time, bro. Yes, sir. I, I guarantee you, bro, if he would have found this color car, he'd have it. Hell yeah. Exactly. Hell yeah, that's <laughs> what I wanted. Exactly. I wanted the green or that B5. That nigga, when you trying to get that scat? That green one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. like that. That's, that's the type, type of time, bro. bro. Oh, God damn, look. See, we, it's time, bro. Hey, y'all, it's going to be early, man. Bro, they, hey, they do it. I think they do it like, what's going on, bro? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they do it on weekend, like at night, you know, everybody come through. They, they, they say we got, they say we got enough for real. You know, the kind of I was telling them about last year. Was you with us last time we came last year? No. Ah, man. Right. Hey, tell them about last year. Man, look, we got kicked out of here. We got kicked out of here, had to go over there. Hey, I'm talking about all the cars over here had to go to this little ass gas. Yeah, and everybody was not. I, when I came in last, that's why I thought they shut it down on weekend at night. And everybody was parked over there, and they parked their little field, and they was walking over here. Yeah. With no cars over here. We out here, man. So we finna go ahead. Where, where, it's, a, it's at the convention center, right? Yeah. So, uh, we finna move around, man. Like James Brown, we gonna rock and roll like Johnny Bravo. I don't know where we finna go. Right, so where we going right now? Let's turn some corners, bro. Well, let's throw, turn some corners. Anything that gotta do with AC, air conditioning. Huh? Anything gotta do air conditioning. We need to get on.
and they closed this thing out. So now we gotta find a way to get out of here. I lied, bro. Huh? I lied. You gonna record? Yeah, I got to, bro. Oh, yeah, he got a hand on steering. Oh, record. He's like, for the go. Hey, he's tripping. Right, everybody ready to go, bro. <laughs> 44 hey. What's new? So we came to the actual meet, as y'all already seen, bro, and we didn't like, well, we came to the dub, you know, the dub concert and everything in the whole downtown Dallas is packed right now because everybody leaving, everybody shutting off that car. But right now, bro, we I ain't gonna lie, we did look cutting up, but they didn't got, we already got hemmed up and pulled over, bro, and it's bad. We said what? Let me see why they got him pulled over. Why they got him pulled over? Why they got him pulled over? Are you want me to go see? Bro, if they looking, for, if they looking for us, bro, and I don't need to be in the, in the facility. They got my dog put over right now. They got the charger and they got the, you know what I'm saying, the, the big SUV truck up for my dog. But, <laughs> bro, we just got here, bro. Yeah, man, we already we, got we fucking the streets up down here, man. <laughs> bro. Already, bro. We ain't been out here a hot, hot, you know what I mean? Hot minute. Hey, bro. Hey, I, I ain't gonna lie, we cutting up, bro. Brother, he did a burnout right in front of him. He was sitting right next to me, bro, and I seen him creeping. And he just, I seen him. I seen him, bro. I said, nope. Let me stop. He said, he said he did burn out. He said he in front of police. Right next to me. Right next to me, bro. Chilling. Then all of a sudden he just, rawr, 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 rawr. and I seen the law just creeping up the street. I said, oh, bro. I rolled the window down like, bro, look, look. The nigga was like, yep. Tripping, bro. Can't do it, man. That's why I like to be at the front of the pack. Because if police pull up, I got to get the last person. I just want to make sure I'm like, oh. I thought the nigga was coming for me. Oh, I'm telling him, I'm like, bro, I said, hey, we need to get out of Dodge, boy. I was finna take it off. Hey, you get it out of Dodge. We out. We got Dodge cars. We out the car, so we out of Dodge. You get it. I guess I gotta stay there then. Okay. I got out of here. All right. But this is bad, bro. Hey. Oh, my dog ain't got no warrant, nothing like that, bro. He looking good. He looking real nervous. Go talk to him, bro. Tell him we, tell him we here for a charity event. Nah. You already got one? You gonna, you gonna let him go to jail? Yeah, he going to jail. Oh, he been here wrestling, bro. Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Remember that, that bit from Houston up there to me? He had the exact thing, bro. The blowing. Huh? Nah, that was it. That thing was crazy. Oh, they put, oh, the sergeant out there. Oh, there's something, there's something going on, bro. Oh, no, hey, that's a good one. Oh, so bad, boy. You better not, bro. He wanted to hit it. Hey, that's what he just said. He wanted to hit it. But he going that way. He can hit it, boy. They ain't even catch him. That's the sergeant, bro. They ain't gonna stop him. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, that's why I'm like, why are we pulling up to the crime scene? I was thinking the same thing. That's fine. But. Hey, Pull up here? That blue one? Yeah. Yeah, he finna pull up. I'm gonna get right here so they, they know they need to hit it. I'm gonna get right here. They know they gotta hit it. Uh everybody came up here, bro. Uh we came. Yeah, you tell my Okay, we came to the little old, you know what I'm saying, little old shindig. We drove through the crowd and everybody, everybody said, Oh, let me get to the action, bro. I got my dog's job with that thing. Man, this is ain't flowing, boy. Oh, y'all the switch. Yeah, y'all the switch. Oh, y'all the switch car. <laughs> I said, boy, that ain't you. <laughs> they the switch car. Yeah. 
Alright, I like that right there. Let's see TSB thing. So we went to the event, you know what I'm saying? We pretty much drove through the crowd. Everybody was rocking with us. And as you can obviously, we got pulled over for obvious reasons. We was cutting up where we when, when and where we shouldn't be cutting up at. But we came back to Fuel City. Fuel City was completely shut down though. So everybody came to the gas station that's next door. So as you can see, we're gonna turn this whole thing into a car meet. Whole car meet.